Hey guys, so I'm Aaron from MyVLNF and this is Nino. What's up guys? You know where we're at right now? We're at the Yard House. So what are we doing here at the Yard House? I'm taking out Aaron for his birthday. Oh you my know, gosh. we're gonna celebrate right now. A little celebration, you know? Guys. My VLNF celebration. Now you're probably thinking, the Yard House and we're vegan. Yeah, what can you get at the Yard House? I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I, I just... Guys, <laughs> we've been talking about the wings for some time. Remember, we went to go to uh, Whole Foods Whole to get Foods, that burger? The Beyond Burger. And yes. now it's finally time. And now it's happening. We said we were gonna do it, and now we're here. He raves about this thing. I've actually had like a little bite of, you know, when he got it last time. Yeah. But now we're actually gonna get full servings and celebrate at the same time, so. Gardein buffalo wings. And the, the, the funny thing is, it's like they're, they're, they're in these little square, little tiny squares. <laughs> and they look, they look like tofu, but when you eat it, it just tastes like meat. It it's tastes like buffalo like meat. wings, right? Yeah, it tastes buffalo like a buffalo wings. wing. Okay. And when we get in there, yeah. we're obviously gonna film. We're gonna show you guys how all. We're gonna order a bunch of other vegan, vegan beer. Vegan yeah, beer. we'll try a vegan beer. Vegan beer, and just to show you guys, and I'll, I'll <laughs> how anal I am. I went to the PETA <laughs> website, <laughs> and it says right here on this sheet how to eat vegan at the yard house. This, this, uh, okay. PETA, this so PETA here website we go. is how the to, place to go. It's how to, to eat? Go. Literally right there. How to eat vegan at the yard house, okay? So we're gonna go off of this list and we're gonna order everything we can at the yard house well, that's vegan, okay? I, I wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting that. Not to get a lot of food. All right, so you ready? Are you ready, birthday boy? I don't know, my heart, beat, my heart is beating. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. Let's go in there. Oh my gosh. Like all of these, for the, this for the most part, all the dark and roasted beers mm -hmm. are gonna be. Uh, um, they're they're gonna have milk in it. What do you think the Mission Hard Root beer? Would you try that? I would try. Yeah, I think that would sound good. You guys want to do it? Yeah, that sounds awesome. All right, cool. All right, so we're waiting for our vegan beer. So we're actually we ordered the. Uh, oh, nice. What do you call that? Uh, where is it? It's the. Uh, it's gonna be in bottles, and it's called the Mission Hard Root beer. You know, these are again things that you have to ask. Or else we would not have known. We would have been just like, oh, okay, yeah, let me get a Guinness. Okay. And so, what you was know? the question that you asked? I just asked him, you know, which beers would be um, would be vegan. Um, he seems to be very knowledgeable. He knew a lot of the. Uh, I don't know how, why, <laughs> but he knows. Like he knew right off the bat. I said, "What about Newcastle?" And he said, oh, "That's not vegan." You know, maybe. And I looked it up. Yeah. On 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 Google, and it said it's not vegan. We're not at a vegan restaurant. I mean, for him to know that. Yeah, this beer is not vegan. That beer is vegan. Right, right, I mean, yeah. that's that's a good. I mean, that's a great thing. We got or lucky. else, we got you, most of them would be like, "I'm not sure." Yeah. So we would have to be looking it up online. Yeah, you know? yeah. You know, I guess uh, you can call that our vegan struggle. <laughs> <laughs> the so, vegan struggle. Right this is there. a root beer. We kind of got lucky with a really interesting one. Yeah, uh, I know this is gonna be pretty good. Oh, I can't wait to taste it. Actually, I can't wait to taste it. I've never had it. Mission Hard Root Beer. Mission Hard Root Beer. Okay, cool. Dude, yeah. your boneless wings is right here. Is oh that? Oh my gosh. Wait, boneless? Dude, that's that part of the happy hour. Firecracker, jerk, Korean. I don't know about that. I know. Well, yeah, but boneless see, Gardein like... option available. So Whoa. we're going to have to ask him about that. It says Gardein option you know, available? Gardein option available. Dude, yes. So we're going to have to ask him about that. Okay, we just found about... out that the happy hour yeah. includes the buffalo mm -hmm. with the Gardein. Yeah. So. All right, guys. <laughs> so we're with Alex right here. What's going on? He's gonna tell us. He's very knowledgeable about the vegan options here at the Yard House, and we're really excited. So, Alex, man, tell us. Yeah. Okay. So what do we have? Vegan? Appetizer. First Let's things appetizer. first. Obviously, it's happy hour right now until six o'clock, so we have that going on from three to six today, which is awesome. Okay. Gotcha. Um, so, anything that you kind of see in this area are gonna be half price appetizers. We also nice. do have wines, cocktails, beers. Whoa. Uh, okay. At selected prices off. Okay. Um, but the thing that I will say for the thing that I will say for the thing that I will say for Gardein. Gardein. We didn't know it then, but it was at this moment 
that our outing made an unexpected turn. So our garden is pretty much made out of soy, pea proteins, wheats, and veggies, right? Mm. Quinoa, kale, and the only thing is, uh, there's a lot of the chickens, like say for the garden options, uh -huh. are dropped in the same fryer as the regular chicken. So I always mention oh, that to guests, okay. and if they're not okay with that, I obviously tell them that that's not the route to go. Okay, right, right. got yeah. it, got it. Okay, Nino, what do you think? Yeah, if, so we make it, if we can stay away from it, then it'll be great. You know but, what I mean? But that's the thing. So yeah. a lot of got yeah, it, I see what got you're it. Saying. That's awesome that you know all this, by the way. I have to. That's yeah, pretty awesome. Yeah. Hey, Spend you know how many restaurants exactly. I've been to that's not vegan, and I would ask. And they're not even sure what, yeah. what that is? What, yeah. what does that mean? You just don't eat meat, right? How, no, how, you know what I mean? It's no. like, how no. often? How often are you getting people coming in here? A lot of vegan? people. Well, well now, I'm sure now. A lately. lot of vegetarians, a lot of vegans. Yeah. I mean, so we, you know, we obviously try to be as best as we can with that. Like if there's the, the one simple rule that I have, because, um, you know, I've been training here for a while already. So the one simple thing that I have when I train other servers that are incoming to our restaurant is that like, if you are ever are unsure about it, just speak with the, the kitchen and, and kind of communicate that. So like that, you avoid any miscommunication with the guests and the mm -hmm. kitchen and yourself. And, you know, so right. you can cover all bases. I think the main thing, too, is just yeah. to ask. Because yeah. if you don't ask, if you assume, yeah. then you assume. And then, you know, later you find out, oh, it wasn't vegan, but right, I didn't right. ask. You know, but we still use that same fryer. So if you're okay with that, you're right. then, then, yeah. You're right. That might be something that we might need to talk about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, Nino. Let's talk, man. Okay, so what do you think? I mean, yeah, being dipped a, in the same... Uh... It's, it's a controversy that a lot of people are... I, mean, I don't know, about. man. This one's a little tough. Yeah. I know you had an issue with that. Yeah. For a long time, I, I wasn't eating any fries that were dipped in the same bat as chicken. From a taste standpoint, could it be cheating? Yeah, it could be. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I didn't eat chicken. Like, I didn't eat chicken. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's not what I ate. So, I, I don't know, man. This one's tough. This one's a tough one. Yeah. This one's really tough. Um, Might be something we should go on uh, my VLNF um, Instagram right now and ask the question. <laughs> could, yeah, we should. You want to do that? We should do that. Yeah, we, we should do, do it. that. Take a picture and do it. Okay, okay. Okay, stop. And that's what we did. We went to Instagram to ask our friends what they thought. Find the picture on our Insta to see the whole discussion. And in the meantime, our appetizer is arriving. Hey, guys. Aaron. First of all, yeah. I want to say happy birthday to the man, Thank you, man that's doing so much for my VLNF. I'm so proud of him. I'm happy that he's on the team. Uh, I could not have imagined a, a better teammate to have than Aaron. So happy birthday, man. Wow, Enjoy this you. mission hard root beer. Wow. All right. Thank so you. let's give this a taste, man. Let's all see. Right. Actually, I'm going to just have water. I'm kidding. Come on, man. Let's I want to taste this with you. Okay. Ooh, look at that. You, it even smells like root beer. Ooh, that looks good. Man. Aaron? That looks good. Okay. It smells like soda, but it's okay. beer. All right. Oh, I'm smelling it. Oh, my God. Where's that? Where's that head drop? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Whoa, here we go. We got to take a picture of this, That's man. Good. We got to take a picture. Okay. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. All right, Aaron, so this is the uh, chicken nachos, um, veganized, of course. They use the Guardian chicken. Okay. And they took out the sauces that weren't vegan. Wow. Uh, thank God our, our, our um, waiter knows a thing or two. A lot about veganism and vegan eating. So there you go, nice. guys. Okay. Let's go. Let's taste this. All right. <laughs> That's good. Oh my God. This is bomb. Again, take a look so at this, guys. I mean, this is a closer look. You have beans. You see this chicken right here? It's garden chicken. So, vegan. Guacamole. You know, the tortillas, it's cilantro. So yeah, you know, onions, tomatoes. It's, it's really delicious, though. Well, I can't oh stop gosh. eating right now. You know, if I don't, if I don't stop recording right now, I, I know won't you're, get any. I'm going I'm to finish this. Uh -oh. oh, my God. Wow. Needless to say we made the decision that would be more fitting to our vegan lifestyles. Okay guys, Aaron decided not to order the buffalo wings. So instead he got this, which is fully vegan and no, it's not shared in the same fryer. So Aaron, hey guys, tell us the reason, man. 
All right, so for me, this decision was very difficult, but it came down to the reason why we became vegan in the first place. So for me, I'm coming from a perspective of where I made the decision specifically for animal cruelty purposes. Um, I never came from a nutrition back, uh, back, background. Uh, it wasn't my decision at all to do this vegan journey for that reason. So in that perspective, um, I felt like it was necessary for me to consider that as I made a decision tonight. And that's where I come from. Nice, Aaron. Good one. That's a good one. Nino. Yes, guys. I decided to get it. It's still plant-based. The only issue that we had was that these were fried in the same oil that a regular chicken was being fried on. So that's when this whole discussion came about. But, you know, I when I first decided that I wanted to go plant-based slash vegan, um, my initial reasoning was not so much the ethics part of it, but it was more for the nutrition part of it and that's where you the came health from. benefits. Mm -hmm. That's where I came from. Now, obviously, once you go that route, you start learning all the other benefits that comes with that. Second, again, that's most important to me was I found out the environment impact and how eating plant-based or vegan um, affects that tremendously and that, that it's a good thing. So I'm like, oh, great, you know, um, that's another plus. And then, for me, which is third, and icing on the cake was what? I also don't have to contribute to animal cruelty and, and not support uh, factory farming. Then that's just the icing on the cake. So, for me, that's the reasonings. Um, I guess I didn't start from ethical part of it, like Aaron uh, stated. It's more from the nutritional part. And that's the reasoning. I think, guys, the main thing is too that I mean, a lot of people sometimes when they try to adopt this kind of lifestyle, they put so much pressure on themselves that it ends up being, I can't do it. Right, right. You know, I'll just go back and eat regular the, the way how I used to eat because it's going to be too hard. Yeah. It doesn't have to be like that. It doesn't. It takes steps to, to get to a certain point. You can't just go cold turkey sometimes. You got to move at your pace. And look at it like this. I've been vegan or been eating plant-based longer than he has. But look at the decisions we made today. It's completely different. Think about that. I made my decision, Nino made his, and at the end of the day, we feel good about those decisions. There you go, guys. Now we're gonna go eat this. All right. <laughs> it's spicy, it's amazing. It's amazing. Whew. Wow. Let's see. You get to see how this tastes. <laughs> it takes a second for me to process. <laughs> that is sweet. Oh my gosh. Mm. There's a little bit of Chinese. Chayaki? No, no, no. What is it? It's, oh, no, no, sesame oil. Sesame oil. Taste, is it worth it? Taste it. Very worth it. Okay. Very good. Let's go. Mm. Enjoy this, man. Wow. But, hey, you know what? At the end of the day, we are very full. <laughs> Because right now we're like at a, we're like at a limbo. Because then, do we recommend this place? Because right, right, yeah. of what we just talked about, it's like <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, I love the food, but then again, it's something to be talked about because of what happened in there. Right, you know right, what I mean? yeah. So I don't. I I'm mean, kind of like in limbo right now. I don't know what to say. <sighs> All right, guys. Hey, guys. We got done at the oh. yard house here in Northridge. Um, that was a that was that, that was, was a, a, a deep thoughts, man. I mean, uh, you know, usually we're like, yeah, guys, go try this. You know what? Right now, it's con we're conflicted about it because of what we discussed in there. Um, I guess Aaron, I, I don't know. Let me. What's your take on this? I mean. I, it's tough because this is already not a vegan restaurant. So right, right, right. yeah, we can just say don't go here because it's not a vegan restaurant. But the thing is, you know, sometimes you do end up in these kinds of places, and what do you do? I, I think we should um, we should preface this by saying that these decisions and our our mentality comes from our own place, and so whenever we make these decisions, it's with our own reasoning behind it, and. At the end of the day, we make these these uh, um, choices on our own, and I mean, we 
are satisfied with the food that we ate. We're satisfied with the decisions that we made. And tomorrow, today, um, the appetizer was amazing. The appetizer had that was, it was uh, completely vegan. It was yeah. Just, there's no controversy on that no one. Controversy there. Yeah, it was basically nachos with uh, garden chicken. Right, right, and right. that was it. Yeah, and we I had mean, and, pinto and, and, beans and and some that was amazing veg veggies on there. And then obviously, <laughs> the main dish came. Yeah, and and that's when this this whole. Well, the, the reason why we, we came here tonight was for the specifically for the, the buffalo, buffalo wings, wings, the vegan buffalo wings. And when we found out what we found out, that's what opened up the whole. And again, I took him here because he loved that that dish. So I and now it. when we found out. Thinking that it was the perfect substitute for regular wings. Because, you know, like when I was not vegan, my, my go-to meal at any celebration was always buffalo wings ever buffalo since wings. I was like young very young like 18 was my my 18th birthday we had a party at a buffalo wings place so I mean, that's right i do remember that yeah i remember that yeah when i turn 18 yes i, I remember that it's okay just, it's always been my favorite but you know it like for me making that decision today to really just say no to the meal that, that was really tough man because then i was put in a position where and again that it doesn't it doesn't make one of us right or wrong i mean no, no. that was his personal decision based on his own beliefs and right, where right. he's coming from right and i made that decision based on my own belief and where i'm coming from right and i know people from either the left or right will have today it's your own decision you know so, what i mean so the so, way the way that i like to say is that i mean we're on our, our journey and you don't know what you're going to reason like tomorrow. So I, I can't say that I'm the perfect vegan. And I don't think a lot of people can because you're always growing as a person. So with this personal growth, you can't, you can't expect yourself to be perfect to the, the degree of diamond like I don't know. Is there even perfection. a perfect vegan really? I, I, I don't think it exists. Right, right, right. I, I don't think, really think it exists. I think but... it's just something to try to attain. And like you're always reaching, you're always reaching, but you can always get more and become more, be, be stronger. And you know what? And again, when it comes to the core values of my VLNF, okay, we never wanted to make this team or this community to be the perfect vegan. That was never the intention. The intention was always to invite people to this lifestyle. Right. into this lifestyle right right do you have to jump and be perfect 100 percent right off the bat no you know that's not what we're trying to promote here and yeah. so right you can't like you a can't... decision that i made today you know some might be like what the heck was that all about i mean yeah. that doesn't you know right right but uh, it, it's a stepping stone we take these steps you can't go cold turkey and we'll jump right into it sometimes you need to take those steps that that make sense to you and whenever you're doing it for someone else and for their reasons and not your own, it's becoming less uh, about about your own personal growth and about more about something that you're involved with that you're not you don't necessarily feel involved in for your own reasons. Don't let other people make decisions for you. I'm glad Nino made his own decision today. And, and that was tough because you know, I you know behind the cameras or. Yeah. You know, when the, the cameras weren't rolling, you know, I was I was a little worried because, you know, I mean, yeah, that we, was a decision that I knew right. will probably get some flack because, you know. I mean, it, I, it was it, like we tried to in, in, invite you guys into the discussion. We put it on Instagram. And so we we really want to make the best decisions. But we also want to know what you guys are thinking, too. So, I mean. It became a real subject of discussion for us today, especially and, because we came here specifically for that, and it became such a controversy once we we dis, we discovered that there was a situation with the meal that we chose. And you know what, guys? That's uh, you know, uh, at the end of it, uh, of it all, what happened today, that was honest. Right. That's yeah. really. I mean, that's the bottom line. Could we have faked it and said that? Yeah, we didn't order it because of that, and didn't have it on the. You know, we wanted to, we always want to be honest about stuff. And at the, you know, at the end of all, it, it was honest. I mean, that's 
that's what happened today. You know, we're, we're we want to be the the vegans that we are in the perspective that we come from, and not provide you with something false, a false narrative. We're who we are, and we want to be the best people that we can be. Um, and yeah, we're never gonna project to be that perfect vegan and you know in every way and all that because I don't think there is one. You right, know? right. Um, we're all here to learn and grow. So that's where I think everyone wants to be. It's we if if I was to judge or if anyone is to judge, then at that point, do we really want to encourage anyone to take the steps? And aren't they steps in the first place? Because if they're not, and if we're all supposed to go cold turkey once we become vegan, then that's unrealistic. Though the whole point of my VLNF is to get people who are at least interested. Right. You know, to me, getting somebody to eat less meat, even though they might not go 100% right off the bat, that's a win mm -hmm. for me. Right, right. You know, do I want them to go 100%? Of course. But is that realistic right off the bat? Never. No. It never is. And really, you know? I, again, we, we say like 100%, but they're... I don't even know if there is really 100%. So, I mean... Right, like there's a there's a, there's no real like tippy top because I think we're always trying... We always realize that there's more to attain. I mean, animal rights, then there's... New, like nutrition environment yeah. I mean again we were talking about um, the straw the, today. the straw too one of our teammate is big on sustainability and and, and, and waste and, and all that right. you know but we were using plastic straw does that make us horrible right and the reason why we I mean up plastic <laughs> straw is because one plastic is bad for the environment but two I mean once it gets into the environment what that really does is it can like affect an animal that maybe wants to eat it and uh, that that to us is is something that is also congruent with the vegan values and um, not everyone really considers that like myself if you if you watch the series 365 documentary series you realize that I have that predicament as well but it, I think I, as a message tonight I mean you know just to go ahead and, and just cap it off you know being right doing this lifestyle you know it's a it, it's it's a constant growth that right. you're gonna go through right. and you're constantly gonna change mm -hmm. you're constantly the hope is to get better obviously right, 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 right. you know um, is that gonna happen tomorrow mm -hmm. the next day next week next month who knows next year but 10 years from now I mean see, it, you know you made your decision Nino and I have to ask you Nino are you vegan still hell yeah I'm vegan all right, so his Shit. heart is in the right place. My I'm heart vegan, is in the man. right place. We're all trying to be better people. And tomorrow, hopefully, that just means a better tomorrow. So, there you go, guys. I, we enjoyed today's meal. It was great. I loved it. It was my birthday meal that Nina took me out to. So, thank you. Happy birthday, man. Thank man, you. And I didn't know this was going to be this deep, but man, happy birthday. We finally got to the second meal that we wanted to get to in the series of nutrition there you on go. our channel. So we finally did it. What's next? I don't know. That's what I was going to do some sort of dessert. Let's do a dessert. All right. The next one, and we'll try to get some other team members to go to this one. It's going to be a dessert somewhere. All yeah. right. So be, stay tuned for that one, guys. All right. <laughs> My VLNF, baby. All right. See you guys later. See you guys soon.